Which are the best listings of 2018? Hello dears, welcome to Beauty of a Heart. I'm Lily, also known as Lulu. Today I'll be sharing with you the best of cruelty free lipsticks of 2018. I'm a lipstick person and I think currently I have over 200 lipsticks. Ah! Oh no. And I've decluttered a lot, a lot before I shifted here. And I still have 200 over and keep buying. Oh no. All these lipsticks are naturally cruelty free because this is a cruelty free channel and also I will divide into different categories according to their formulas like liquid matte, matte, moisturizing, lip balm and also products like lip liners and lip gloss and mainly I selected all these lipsticks because of their formula so if you are interested to find out which are the best of 2018 lipsticks cruelty free Please continue watching and if you like to, please subscribe. Thank you so much. And so, let's get started. Let's start with the matte formula first. Actually, I'm not a matte formula person because my lips is already very dry and wrinkly. So, I don't like anything too dry on the lips. And it doesn't look good with all the lines. I will look like Ama, grandmother. Anyways, I don't really apply liquid matte lipstick except for this. This is the Fenty Beauty. This is a very beautiful red and whenever I apply this, people will ask me which lipsticks am I wearing. So this red is really really very pretty. Doesn't have much scent compared to their lip gloss but this is really very pretty. And next is the Creamy Matte Lipsticks. And these lipsticks are creamy and matte as the name suggests. That's what she said! <laughs> And it doesn't dry up the lips and in fact, it will be very moisturizing on the lips throughout the whole day and the lips doesn't feel dry. So let me start off with this. This is the Inga by 27A. It's a Singapore brand. There are 10 lipsticks over here and I've mentioned actually a few times. I will not do swatching for all but I will do a dedicated video for that. So the lipstick packaging is very slim and slick and there's a fox over here. So cute. And also their logo like this and it doesn't have much smell also. I was very surprised by this because back then I was exploring Singapore cruelty free brand and I came across this Inga by 27A and I ordered one or two lipsticks. When I wear on my lips, it is very creamy and I was so surprised by it. I wear it for work and besides touching up just once after lunch, it can last me the whole day. It's not drying at all and yet it's very long lasting. So that's why I really like this range even though this is matte. And it comes with a very cute little pouch like this when you buy one set. So yes, I'll be doing another video, a dedicated video to do the swatching and review of this lipstick. So please stay tuned for more information. Okay, next. You dears may be more familiar of this. These are the Colourpop Lux Lipsticks. There are three finishes for the Lux Lipsticks. One is their original, the first lipsticks, which is supposed to be creamy. But for me, I will also consider that as a matte because along the day, it will become more and more matte and that's why I even consider the creamy lipstick as matte lipsticks and then the second finish will be the matte and now their new lipsticks will be the blur matte so again for me all the Colourpop Lux lipsticks for me I will consider as matte lipsticks these are very creamy and last the whole day I did a video before and I will link it over somewhere here in the screen for their Lux lipsticks the colors are very very beautiful very vibrant and it lasts the whole day also it's just that along the day they will start to dry up but the color is very good now they have some vanilla smell to it but it's not really irritating or annoying smell so i can still take the smell next this is what i have on my lips now this is the la girl flat matte velvet matte 
again this is very creamy and moisturizing and that's why I would prefer such formula because I really don't like lipstick that really dries up my lips and of course last but not least for my creamy matte lipstick this is the dose of colors collaborating with Daisy and Katie this is a very beautiful nude peach color again it's not drying and my honorable mention for the creamy matte lipstick is the wet and wild what is that called mega last lipsticks i didn't include them in this video because i've been using them since like two or three years ago and that's why i didn't include them next is the moisturizing formula so let me start off with my ultimate 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 most favorite well that's my favorite 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 lipsticks formula and that is the Catrice Ultimate Color Lipsticks This is in the color 370 in a rose garden You can see how much it left And that's why last year I bought another one Just to keep stock Anyways, I really love this range because It's very affordable and the colors is very pigmented and very moisturizing it is very moisturizing throughout the whole day and the color also lasts the whole day which is very amazing I've introduced this to some of my friends and they are amazed by it too and I did a video in fact two videos about the swatches and the colors and the reviews I will link it somewhere here and it was one of my highest views video so I will link it over somewhere here and you can find this in some of the guardians yeah and also their website next is this Morphe lipsticks while I don't really have a very pleasant experience with Morphe but I was pleasantly surprised by this moisturizing lipsticks somehow I don't know why this color reminds me of a lipstick I have from I think now like 10 more than 10 years ago it's super moisturizing and creamy okay this is my own preference I always love to have very creamy moisturizing lipsticks because this is what my lips need firstly it has no smell and secondly again the color is very pigmented and lasts me very long and it's very very moisturizing I think you'll hear me repeat very moisturizing very moisturizing throughout this category because they are really moisturizing <laughs> another surprise I have is with this H&M cream lip color again very pigmented moisturizing and my lips feel very comfortable okay, it has like some vanilla scent but it's a very light scent it doesn't linger on the lips next I wear this lipsticks in one of my Valentine's Day makeup video I think just the recent video and some of you commented that you like the color because this is really very intense also and this is the BH Cosmetics in collaboration with my Ray Ray the Rosy Ray series and this color is stunning I always like this kind of rosy rosy pink color just one swipe is very very pigmented and again it lasts the whole day even when I apply lip gloss okay they also have lip gloss and their liquid lipsticks in this color so it depends which texture you like for me I have the three but I still like the lipsticks the best who say expensive makeup is good and cheap makeup is not good sometimes it's the reverse <coughs> and next my favorite moisturizing lipstick is this Okay, maybe you just cannot see much from the camera this is the Australis color in jet lipsticks while I love the formula it's just that I can't really find suitable colors over here so now with me I have this Saba which is a natural color natural pink color and again the color is pigmented moisturizing and it has smell a stronger smell but it's not the irritating kind of smell and this is the ballet
this has more sheer finish while the rest is more pigmented and opaque this is the Bola Rope actually I bought this colour first because of the smell although the smell is quite strong but somehow I think this smell brings me bad memories I think this smell if I didn't remember wrongly I think my mother used to have some lipsticks of this smell I cannot remember the brand Okay, this is another colour Electronic Electronica This is more to the purplish Pink Okay, so these are some of the Australis lipsticks and I find that Australis is very quiet in the YouTube that's why I like to bring them up to show them some love and next is also one series these are the Revolution Pro Supreme lipsticks I really love their Supreme line be it whether it's the eyeshadow, the highlighter and the lipsticks for this series of lipsticks there are two finishes which is matte and also the creamy finish for me of course I'll prefer creamy finish and it's really pigmented not sure if you can see this is just one swipe and it's opaque enough to just cover my lip color coming up is the safe lipsticks what do I mean by safe lipsticks it means that they are either food grade or organic lipstick meaning that they have lesser chemicals or you can simply eat the lipsticks if you want to <laughs> Okay, I'll usually wear this kind of food grade lipsticks or organic lipsticks during a party where I know I will keep eating and eating and eating because I am a makeup junkie and I know our favorite food is lipsticks. After a long long time, I really do not know how our body will digest these lipsticks That's why I think moving forward, I hope to get more and more organic lipsticks or food grade lipsticks because I feel more safe So this is what I call the safe lipsticks And these safe lipsticks are cruelty free I don't have much range, much options And so far, the only two lipsticks I've experienced, I'm pleasantly surprised by it First is this Hem Organics or Home Organics I will write the product name somewhere here and also all this lipsticks name will also be in the description box So I only got one of this color and this is in the color ginger It's a very natural pink, daily pink color And you can use this kind of color in any occasion you go Not much scent also and in fact this is food grade and you can actually eat it And the next one will be this This is the Zoe Organic Luxe Lipsticks and I especially like these two colors, which is Charm. It's also natural pink lipsticks that you can wear every day. And this is Glam, which is more of the mauve pink lipsticks. Okay, there are a natural rose scent in it because all of their products are made of organic products and they have a lot of flowers ingredients in it that's why there is a rose scent in it but the thing is sometimes I get irritated by the scent because it is very long lasting and sometimes the smell will get into my mouth so if you are somebody who really doesn't like it just skip this but for me I still include them in the best of 2018 because this is one of the good safe lipsticks that I've tried and the next category is the Sheer Lip Balm Finish Formula which is this This is the Can Make Stay On Balm Rouge I think I bought this first many 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 years ago I think they are famous for this formula And I simply love this You see I leave a bit here right and didn't use finish I can't bring myself to finish it See this is so see through and because I really love the formula, last year I bought this I couldn't find this colour already, so I bought this instead And it's a very 
natural sheer finish that you can you can't really see the color it's like a lip balm as i mentioned but it's very very moisturizing but for such moisturizing lipstick the color won't stay long so after one or two hours it'll be gone so what i do is i will just reapply it as a lip balm so for those who want the no makeup makeup look you can always use this stay on balm by chemic and surprisingly chemic is a japanese cruelty free drugstore brand all right that's all for my lipstick series yeah 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 oh yeah yeah so now i will be touching on the lip liners and also the lip gloss all are cruelty free as well and now let's touch on the lip liners Okay, I have two lip liners to mention. Firstly, is the ColourPop lip liner. I only have one color, which is Brink. And I was surprised by it because it's very, very smooth. I know I draw very badly. It's not a straight line. <laughs> but it's very smooth. Okay, I'm not really a lip liner person. If not for the camera use, I usually just go without lip liners. And that's why I will not want to buy an expensive lip liner. Because I don't really use them. Okay, next is one whole series of this. This is the Essence... Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner. I bought one whole bunch. The first one I got is actually for this. The first one I got is actually this red because I was doing a makeup for myself and I want a red lipstick look and I want it to be more neat and tidy that's why I bought a red lip liner but because I'm not wearing red lipsticks all the while maybe just once in a blue moon that's why I really can't bring myself to buy like $10 over dollars or 20 over dollars lip liner for just this one occasion. I chanced upon this and I'm very happy that actually the color itself is very beautiful. And sometimes I will just wear this red lip liner as a lipstick itself and fill up my lips because this color is really very pretty. It's more of the matte, creamy matte formula and all these lip liners is very smooth. It draws on very easily. And ever since then, slowly, slowly, I just gather them and collect them. Each of them, I think, is around maybe one ninety nine sing dollar or two ninety nine sing dollar. It's very very affordable. Essence, what do you expect from them? Good and cheap. All right, now is the lip gloss. And the first I like to start off with is this Fenty Beauty lip gloss. It has what I call the soda soda drink smell and it will linger on the lips but other than that the color is very translucent and it's very very glossy and all the lip gloss i'm going to mention here is not sticky it feels very comfortable on the lips without sticking it and it's not the texture is not too thick because i know some of you this do not like lip gloss because they are very sticky or too thick and you feel very artificial and you don't like it but these are very comfortable to wear next are uh, the ColourPop lip gloss okay i will not do the swatches but just bear in mind ColourPop has actually revamped their lip gloss make it more shiny and also more comfortable those with the tofu applicator are the older formulas which might as well just swatch this for you just to see oh this is the color vesti b-e-s-t-i-e I bought this because it sounds very similar to my dog who passed away like 10 years ago. My, my dog's name is Bessie. So that's why I bought this color. So the new one will come with the brush applicator. I'm not sure whether you just can see it. It has several finish like sheer, glossy or with glitters. But nowadays, I don't really like glitters on the lips because I don't know how my body will react to the glitters. Ah! 
I used to love glitters on the eyes, on the cheeks, on the lips when I was much younger but now I only like it on the eyelid so no glitter lip products for me and sometimes the glitter will sink into the fun lines of my lips and make me look more ama grandmotherly don't like it and then last but not least these are the Palladio lip paint actually this is not really lip gloss because it has the glossy finish but the longevity is actually lipstick's longevity it can last you the whole day maybe you just touch up once or twice that's all it's very amazing I've also a dedicated review videos of this range so I will link it somewhere here or here Alright dears, that's all for my sharing today. Hope you dears like it. So dears, have you already tried some of these lipsticks? If yes, do you like it or do you not like it? Please comment in the comment section below yeah, so that I can understand you dears better. And also, is there any favourite lipstick that is not mentioned here in this video that's also cruelty free yeah? Because my channel is cruelty free. Yes, if you have, please also comment in the comment section below yeah. Thank you so much. And last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. For attractive lips, speak words of kindness. For our lovely eyes, seek out the good in people. Very true indeed. <laughs> Actually, another thing to add on is to have an attractive lips and very beautiful accessories and yet free add on a smile it will bring people closer to us oh yes yes if you happen to like this video please consider to like comment and subscribe and if you'd like to know what are my best 2018 face products please see the end screen over here for the next video or if you'd like to know which is the best and worst of 2018 eyeshadows you can reverse somewhere here also I'll put the end screen video over here or here so thank you so much and may you dears have a peaceful blissful and joyful week ahead see you next time bye